Hey, I'm David Burns, the 60 second beekeeper. Today I want to talk to you about bee stings. I find that some people aren't uh, well versed on how to remove a bee sting. So when you get stung by a honeybee, it is really helpful if you remove the stinger as quickly as possible because the stinger is uh, starting to work its way deeper into your skin, releasing more of, of the uh, venom. And so the quicker you can pull the stinger out, the better it is. Now, uh, there's several ways to do this effectively, and there's one way to do it wrong. You never want to grab it, squeeze the venom sac, and push the venom in. You want to scrape it out. So I'm going to show you, I just happened to get stung the other day, so I want to show you how to remove the stinger properly in 60 seconds. Okay, so that's how you remove the stinger in 60 seconds. I want you to be sure and do that because there's no reason to leave it in because the stinger does give off an alarm pheromone. You don't want to attract other bees. You want to be safe when you're keeping bees. By all means, make sure you're not allergic to honeybees when you're keeping honeybees. This has been the 60 Second Beekeeper. See you next time. <laughs>